Disclaimer, I am a homeowner. I am not a trained HVAC installer. For your safety and the safety of those around you, refer to the installation instructions included with your AC unit. Taking a look at the controls, the same controls are on the panel that are on the remote. On the bottom is a power button. Above that is temperature up and temperature down. And then there's three columns here, fan, mode, and delay. If we look at the fan column, you can hit the button and go from low, medium, high, or auto. So it'll auto adjust as needed. If you look at the mode button, it goes from eco to fan only to cool mode. Now the difference between eco and cool mode is that cool runs the compressor and the fan, and it runs the fan constantly even when the compressor is not running. Eco will turn the fan off when the compressor is not running. The third column is delay, and if you click that and then click the plus up button, you're basically giving it a sleep timer and telling it to turn off in a couple hours. If you turn off the unit and it is off, and then you hit delay again and you give it plus button, give it a couple hours, now you're telling it to turn on in an hour. So if you want to set it to turn on when it gets hot at night, but you don't want it on when you're falling asleep, you can do that. It's really nice. For airflow direction, there are two independent left-right vents that you can control and they are not tied together, so you can put one to the right, one to the left, however you want to do it. There is no up and down controls. So make it vertically go up or down, but you can do left or right, so that's pretty cool. It's intended to cool a small room up to 250 square feet, according to the box. For measurements, it's about 16 and a half inches across for the AC unit and about 12 and a half inches high for the AC unit. There is on the side those side curtain panels and they run about eight and a half inches each when they're expanded in a 33 inch across window such as mine. I don't think I have them all the way out. I think they can go a little more, but they're pretty springy. They want to come back in on their own. There's a top mounting rail on the top of the unit. When you lower the window down, this is what puts pressure against the window to keep the top part secure. And that is pure metal, which is nice. And it has its own weather stripping on the bottom, which is also nice. Now for securing the air conditioner on the bottom, it's supposed to go flush with your windowsill. So in my case, I didn't have a flush windowsill. I had to put in a basically a two by four, but the, not exactly those measurements. And then use the brackets provided to tab into the unit and drill into the wood that I supplied. A couple problems with this. One is that the wood that I supplied only catches one of the two screws. This, the other screw is actually right on top of the Pella window piece of vinyl here that I can't really securely drill into. I even checked underneath to make sure I was back enough or forward enough, um, but there's no rail on the bottom for this to really sit in, so it's kind of like an open bottom. I'm not sure if I'm missing a part or if I'm missing something. I went through this several times, did the installation. I didn't really like the way this went in um, for securing it. I think it could have done, they could have done a much better job for different window types. So on the sides of the unit, there's a side curtain that it comes with, so it's expandable. And it has screw holes on the top, which are supposed to go into the bottom of your window itself. Mine are vinyl, so I'm not going to really do that right yet until I can find a less uh, damaging way to secure them and then it has two screw slots on the bottom. In the front there's an air filter that's washable which is really nice you just pop it out and wash it. As you've seen some of these other review videos I've done the air filter can easily cost the price of a unit. In this case it's not that much but it is nice that it's washable you don't have to buy it every six months or whenever it says it's dirty. I did notice, and it comes with just the smallest amount of weather stripping for gaps like these. There's an air gap on the bottom where the unit's not quite square against the windowsill. It's got like a curved, not right angle uh, metal shape to it. And now for installing the window lock above it, once you've got the window up and the air conditioner unit in, you're going to want to do something for security to make sure that nobody can pop the window open at night since the lock won't be on. They come with, again, these L brackets. A couple problems I had with the Pella windows we have. One is that inside the, the gap here that they intend the bracket to go into, I don't have just flat wall. I have this rope here that helps the window go up and down like a pulley. And the other issue was the actual L bracket itself is too wide left to right, so it won't even fit in that gap. Um, so really it's, a, again, questionable parts here in terms of working for all windows. 
I think in the end what I'm going to do is cut a piece of wood here from top to bottom in the gap and just secure it to the wall multiple times so that the window cannot be uh, taken up further by anybody else. The unit itself I got at Lowe's was $229 at the time I bought it. I don't think it was a huge sale or anything because it's summertime so I think that's regular price and it's fairly productive. I've been running it for a couple weeks and I'm pretty impressed with it. It doesn't cool the whole floor but it is pretty productive. The plug is a normal household plug. It has three prongs with a ground and on the back side it has a test and reset button so if it blows its own fuse you don't got to go find the electrical box to reset it. You can just reset it right on the unit which is really nice. Like I said it goes right into a typical house plug here. So for the sound check I ran a couple different checks with it. Um, first three were in eco mode so I did fan low then fan medium, then fan high, and they didn't really vary that much. So the fan speed didn't really change the sound that much. And the next three I did were in cool mode, so it's not gonna turn the fan off and the compressor's definitely running. Um, again, high 50s to low 60s, you're not really seeing like a huge amount of change here, which is interesting, but I will tell you that 60 decibels at night when you're trying to sleep, it is rather loud. So thanks for watching and for commenting. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like or hit the bell button to be notified when new ones come out. And thanks again for watching.